most important in both of our lives. Above everything else. Above everything else. Above everyone else. Our bunny rabbit, Makishio Hall. <laughs> so cute. So, Kishio, oh actually, Kishio, Makishio, Chub Chub, Chub, Cherub, Cherub, the angel. Anything that just sounds remotely cute and small and whatever, you can <laughs> say and he'll just come to you. Yeah. He's a Netherland dwarf and he is one year and about three months old at the time of filming this. We've had him for about a year. So yeah, we got him when he was around about three months old and he is an absolute bundle of joy. Just the greatest purchase ever made. Oh, just put that makes me so best, sad. Best £60 ever spent. Worth every single penny. I challenge you to name a better purchase you can make for £60. There isn't one. No, there won't be. There absolutely won't be. Especially once you meet Kishio. Not that you will, but if you ever did, then you would realise that there's nothing. There's nothing that comes close. He is just so cute. So we got a Netherland Dwarf because when I was a young boy, I also had a Netherland Dwarf. I had a Seal Point Netherland Dwarf. And a Seal Point is a dark nosed, light coloured body fur rabbit. Kind of the colourings of a seal, which makes yeah, perfect sense, makes really, sense. when you think about it. But in size, shape, and everything else, he's pretty much identical. Yeah, to yeah, Kishu. yeah. So, yeah, Kishu ish is just ginger, really. But other, but other <laughs> than that, dense ginger. Dense ginger, but other than that, they're pretty darn similar. So, we thought we'd rattle through some like pros and cons of having a rabbit. There aren't going to be that many cons, right. to be honest. You've already seen uh, that we're very biased towards Kishu and we just think that he's the bee's knees. But we're going to try and be honest because there are some. There's a couple, a small yeah, handful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's. he's got his flaws, but everyone has. Yeah. Yeah, have, I have. yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, I say he has less flaws than both of us put together. I would completely agree with that. Yeah, so. Because I can only count them on one hand. No, absolutely. I mean, nobody's perfect, are they? So. Poor little. <laughs> um, Let's go. Cons first, pros first. We could, go, we could try and go back and okay. forth. Let, I'll start mm -hmm. with a con. All right, go on. Chewing. Yes. Now, Rabbits chew. This is a thing that everyone knows. They have teeth, they chew stuff. That's fine, unless you live in a house that you rent. Then that's not fine. Even if you don't rent it, and you don't want your house destroyed, perhaps consider your ways of bunny-proofing your house. Now, we've got a load of cardboard around the banisters upstairs, and we've got cardboard around the edges of the skeleton boards, but he doesn't stop there. He chews walls, yeah. he'll chew anything there is in front of him. Tables, now, sofa legs, yeah. chair legs, books, magazines, important letters. He doesn't he discriminate. Did, he destroyed some of my parents' like old... Yeah, the no, Bible! He ate the Bible at your parents' house, do you remember? Keish came to stay and he chewed through their Bible and it was like a really special edition one. He's an atheist. Yeah, clearly he didn't believe in God. He's destructive. Inevitably, it's a rabbit. They chew. That is in their nature, that's just what they do and they, they like to gnaw on stuff. But that's fine, because what you do is you give him stuff to gnaw on. Exactly. So this is how you combat it. Now, whether it's bits of wood or toys, Pets at Home is brilliant for it. There's a whole aisle dedicated to chewable stuff. Cat scratching posts. He'll chew his cat scratching posts that yep. we've got him. Yeah. Or we can highly recommend um, a like wicker mat that you put on the floor and he'll stand on top of and then chew. Because what we've learned is that rabbits like kind of resistance. When they pull things, they don't want it to just come. Hence why they like chewing solid parts of the wall because it doesn't budge. So if he's on top of this mat and he's kind of pulling up at it, his body weight, because he has a bit of a chunky <laughs> chat, means that it's not going to move and he can really get like a nice tug on that. A nice Tug on that. Tug on that. Pro. Pro. As a breed, I would say they really do have personalities. So we think of Kishio, we don't even think of him, he is exceptionally loyal. He will follow us around everywhere. We work in the top of the house and if I need to go to the loo, which is 
down one floor of stairs. He will follow me downstairs and sit and wait outside the bathroom until I'm done. And then once I'm done and I go back up to the office, he follows me up. And that is the most charming and just like heartwarming, beautiful little part of his personality. He's so loyal, he follows us everywhere. He does. If both of us are downstairs in the living room or if we're downstairs in the other bedroom we've got or our bedroom, yeah. he will make a point of coming downstairs yeah. to be around us and he'll run around your legs. If you're sitting down he'll nudge you and like want fuss. When you're at the desk, when you're at when you're sat at the desk doing work, he'll like headbutt your feet and you have to stroke him with your foot under the desk and he'll just settle there at your feet. Otherwise, he gets angry, stamps his foot. Yeah, he, he needs, wants love. Yeah, yeah, he needs attention. He's a bit of an attention whore. I wonder where he gets that from. Oh, <gasps> so cheeky. Anyway, that's a pro. Full of personality, full of love, and just so loyal. I like giving cons. Oh yeah, this isn't fair. Go on, give another pro. You do a pro. Think of a pro. Pro for the chub. Chubby love. The chubby love it was. Chubby chub. Another pro. He is possibly the softest thing in existence. Now, the bit between his ears, the back of his neck, you touch it and you don't feel like you're touching anything. It's like stroking air. Yeah. And I often part his little ears, put my nose between them and just smell it because it smells so cute. But he is honestly so plush. Plush? He's a, like, a, like a jelly cat toy, Yeah. But, but living in your house. Now, this is good for stroking. Um, when you hold him, he can you know, tuck into you, oh. and also it's just really calming. Like you find it when you're angry that you can pick him up mm -hmm. or, or stroke him, and he's just he's makes nice. me zen. It's so true. Like if if I've just got off the phone with someone and they've irritated me or something's wound me up, I'll go and find Kishie, stroke him for a couple of minutes, and by that point, my heart rate, if it was up here, would go. Oh. We should do that. We have a heart rate monitor. Yeah. We actually should do that as an experiment. Get Miranda really angry, give her the chub, and see how long it takes it to calm down because I bet it won't be too long. He just makes you so zen, and because he's soft, I always call him like my triple velvet bun, like triple velvet, soft, soft, soft. It's just really nice to stroke. I wish that this was like touchy telly and you could stroke him and see what we mean. Calm. Con. I'm struggling to think of another con. Oh, okay. So he is toilet trained, but. Like he knows where his litter box is, but he does like to kind of just poo where he goes. Now that's not so much of a problem. If you've never had a rabbit, then you won't know that rabbit poos are kind of like Cocoa Pops. They're very dry, hard. You can pick them up just like tiny little balls and you can chuck them in the litter box for him. So it's not damaging when he poos on the carpet. Not like a dog or a cat, that would be awful. But you do get little Cocoa Pops just mm. dotted around the house that you can tell where Kishi has been. If he's been downstairs by himself and he's sat on the sofa, there will be four or five just like there. It's a but, bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. So rabbits have two, like, two types of poo. They have like a hard, I mean, you know. <laughs> We've got one here. Here's one I prepared earlier. They have like a hard Cocoa Pop like that, which he will generally do in his cage. Like in his cage, yeah. there are piles of maybe 50 of them. When he's walking around, he might just kind of, you know, get a bit lazy and then do one, which is fine, we don't mind that. The other ones that he does are the ones you don't want him to do on the carpet, no. which are the soft ones, which they then eat. I know, fun fact. But generally, he never does those out of his crate, does he? No. No. Okay, another pro. Really, really clean animals. So clean. To the point where you need to keep on top of cleaning their crates and their litter trays and stuff because they get stressed and upset if it's a mess. So it's it's important that you do that but he's always grooming himself he's always like rearranging the furniture so he has blankets and he's constantly like trying to make the blankets set up absolutely perfect moving bits around we give him like um, toilet roll tubes because he likes to chew on them and it'll tug on them and try and make them neat and push them into a corner like oh. Isn't it so cute? Just so cute. I love him so, so much. So cute. So we haven't mentioned yet, but Kishio is a house rabbit. So he doesn't go outside. Potentially that could be, I mean, for us it's a massive positive, but it does mean that he's a little bit of a princess. <laughs> he's slightly spoiled and he he has a, he likes the good life. We often turn around to him and say, you don't know how lucky you are. Your brothers and sisters are probably outside in little wooden hutches. I know. Minus one outside at the moment, freezing their little bunny noses off. Oh. And he's inside, lying on a blanket upstairs. Living the bougie lifestyle. With radiators. Music. Oh, when we go out, we play music so to keep the company. Radio on. <laughs> and I switch up. Oh, sad. I oh, know, we need to get alive. So his favourite snack is raisins, he loves raisins. Now you mustn't give a bunny rabbit too much if you're thinking of getting a rabbit and you're like, oh brilliant, I'll stock up on raisins. That's great, but they should be like an occasional treat because bunnies can get diabetes, can't they? They can get really ill, they have yeah. raisins to stomachs. They can't vomit. <laughs> 
like they just can't do it. So any issues they have come out the other end and it can be quite messy if they're not well. Yeah. So watch out for anything that's too sweet. Anything you give them, generally just give it a Google. Yeah. Um, we do it quite a lot. We'll say, can he have a bit of raspberry like he had earlier? Yeah, I was... He had some raspberry earlier. Exactly. So it's about making sure that whatever you're giving your rabbit isn't taking up too much of their diet. If it's the occasional raisin, that's fine. But don't fill their food bowl with raisins because they will, they will die. Also, they just get a crazy sugar rush. You think the chewing is bad, it would be on a whole other level. Then he'd crash, and then he'd die. It's not what you want. No, not when so, they're that lovely. Sweet stuff in moderation. Mm -hmm. Apart from a lot of raisins, he will have a little nibble every now and then on a rich tea biscuit. Every now, now and now. every now and then, because these are really sweet. Yeah. But biscuits are absolutely like if you have a packet of biscuits he will look for it the other day we had to take a bourbon off him i know we oh didn't my god. have any thank god but we were sitting down on the sofa having a packet of bourbon just and there he came up and just grabbed one and ran off with it cheeky sod and we actually have fair peanuts. play though because it's bigger than his head bourbon was that big yeah it was huge yeah raisins uh occasional biscuits bourbons <laughs> <laughs> we don't sorry, give him sorry, bourbon sorry, sorry, sorry. raisins raisins <laughs> Raisins, occasional biscuits. Dried apple. Dried apple, loves it. Now you can get it from the shop and it'll cost you a couple of quid for a packet. Or when you have apples, like we have apples always go off, don't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. Or if you get a packet of apples where you've got one or two that are a little bit off, a little bit weird, just on a grater, not the grater side, but the slide that can like slice things, use that, put it in the oven at a reasonably low temperature for a couple of hours and it dries it out completely and that's dried apple and they can have that. Obviously Homemade. also very sweet so watch out for that. Mm -hmm. um, peanuts. Peanuts and the treat. These are all treat things actually we should say. This is not what makes up the majority of his diet. The majority of his diet is supposed to be... Mostly hay. Timothy hay is good. You can get a really diverse hay as I call it which has like dandelion stuff in it as well. So hay, um, pellets of food and then some veg like leafy veg so stuff like broccoli you can give them you give them so we give them kale quite a lot he loves spinach. curly kale he lives for kale also testament to how much of a bougie bun he is he won't eat carrots like a rabbit like what's it called box bunny he yeah eats a carrot right you have to peel and give him the peelings otherwise he doesn't want it not interested too difficult too much effort it's like posh isn't it victoria beckham too posh to push He's like too posh to chew. So hopefully that's kind of summarised nicely for you the kind of bunny he is. Now Netherland Dwarfs in general, their temperament, uh, we had someone on the phone who works at Pets at Home to us the other day and they said, oh Netherland Dwarfs, fiery little characters aren't they? And I've never heard somebody describe Kyushio so well but yes, he's a little bit feisty and apparently that just goes for the breed. So if you want an exceptionally placid bunny rabbit who you're going to be able to hold and carry around the house constantly then a Netherland Dwarf might not be the one. But if you want an independent chap who's going to rule the roost and just like inspire you with their joyful curiosity and like slightly unhinged attitude to life, Netherland Dwarf every single time. That's not to say that Netherland Dwarfs aren't ones that you can hold though. Because? So Kyushio isn't a huge fan of being held. But my old bunny, um, he would be held. You could like hold him on his back, keep him oh. lower on his back and stuff. He was really chilled out, but he was equally feisty. So we had my sisters both had cats, and the cats would come to our house, and he would go for the cats. Yeah. Like the cats would kind of be waltzing around the house, and he would be in charge. Like he chose his boss, and that is the sort of thing Kishi would do as well. So How much cool. as be temperament. It's so like they're a prey animal. Small man syndrome. Yeah. Oh my god. Actually, that's actually what it is because they're small rabbits. Yeah. That's the other thing. They stay relatively small even though Kishio is kind of like fully grown now he I mean I think he's so big compared to when he was a baby but he is still a small pet and also oh my goodness I can't believe we nearly forgot this pro so affordable oh my gosh like he like 60 quid bless his little cotton socks can't believe he was that cheap but he was but not only that vet bills so much cheaper than having a cat or a dog food so much cheaper bedding so cheap like just a really nicely low maintenance animal i must say though similarly to a dog if you are going to get a rabbit they're really sociable animals and so if you're not going to be home 
then if you were going to do the right thing, you would get two. So they would have a pair, else they can get lonely and their loneliness can lead to depression. And we're not just being dramatic. This is a sort of a well-known and established fact about rabbits. So Kishio, we only got the one because we knew that I was always going to be home because I only work three hours a day. And when I wasn't home, Tris was going to be home. And then we were in a pandemic. <laughs> so Tris is always, always home. Now. Yeah. Um, so we knew that that was going to be okay. We might still get a second rabbit. At some point, some point. Yeah. But just to rattle through costs, he was £60 and we got him from a breeder in Croydon called the, the Hoppy Feet Rabbit Tree. It's a mouthful. Um, and she was great, so she's on pets for homes. £60 for him. Uh, the cage for him was £40. That's all you need kind of start off with for him to live. Then that treats and stuff, they range from anything between a couple of quid for a little ball thing all the way up to 50 quid for a kind of cat scratching post type of thing, which I would recommend getting something not too tall so they can't fall off, but something they can kind of get inside and maybe spend some time in. We'll show you our one as well. Yeah. Um, and then hay is cheap. pretty cheap. His food pellets, a massive bag, is like six pounds. They and that'll last do for him. ages. We bought like three in the year we've had him. What else? Sawdust. It's just wasted wood chippings. Like yeah. it's, so, it's so cheap. Uh, and, and vet bills. His castration is, is neutering. His Castration. How much was his new drink? I don't know, but it wasn't like much. Like 70 pounds? Something like that. That was it. All, yeah. all in. Everything. Yeah. And we take him for one checkup a year, which we get in our vet like plan we have him on. And other than that, there's nothing. Oh my gosh, so great. I mean, the most that you're going to spend is dependent on how much you want to spoil your rabbit. So we do buy him a lot of toys. And like Trish said, we've got him like little cat tree beds because he likes to climb and then also if you think about where they would live in the natural habitat they'd be like in a warren they'd be underground and it would be enclosed and dark so they like holes things to hide in he often tries to hide under the sofa behind the shoe boxes and then comes out like surprise um so yeah you want to mimic what would have been their like natural habitat and those things can be a bit more pricey but once you've got one you've got one and it's an investment and you'll have it for years um so yeah such a cheap, affordable, lovely little pet. His Instagram, yes, he does have one, is, is it the Mercutio Bunny? His Instagram is Mercutio Bunny, and you can find him Mercutio Kishio Hall. He's there. There are some lovely photos of him as a younger chap. We've and been now, for a while, we haven't, we need to get, we need to keep on top of that because the people need to see more of Kish. He brightens everyone's day. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. He's wonderful. So if you are thinking about it and you're like, oh, I don't know as long as you know that you'll be home as long as you know that you'll be able to give them lots of company and love because they do get lonely then absolutely get yourself a rabbit and do a Neville and Dwarf and have the best possible time